I, I just finished my date. And I am so embarrassed. I'm not gonna cry. Yeah, I'm not gonna cry. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came. And so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to. And it was a little too expensive, but I, I don't know. I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this, like, I had this dress on. And I changed because I just I had this dress on and everything. And I had my hair out. Like, you know, guys, I cut it. It wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. Pause. So right here in this moment, you telling me this you on the left? Let's keep it going though. And so I went in and he was like looking around like, oh, like he was looking for somebody else. And my thing is this, but after when people wear filters or when people put on filters, it can make, it can really mislead another person. You know what I'm saying? It can make a person believe that they're looking for one thing, but in actuality, they're looking for another. Let's keep it going. And I was like, okay, I'm like, hey, I'm Tia. And then he was like, Tia. I'm like, yeah, it's for me, from BLK. And then we, he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down. So I sat down, I smiled and he didn't smile back. Let me ask, let me ask y'all something. If y'all felt like y'all got catfished, right? Because you looking for an individual you seen on the internet and ain't nobody resembling them in the place that you in, right? And you did not recognize this person and you felt like in your heart that you do not know who this person is. Would you smile at them? Because at this point, I feel like, you know, a lot of individuals would feel like they're speaking to a stranger. You know what I'm saying? I don't know you. This isn't the person who I thought I was talking to. You feel what I'm saying? At me. And then he was like, I don't look like my pictures. I do look like my pictures. I do look like my pictures. I don't know if people are not aware that filters make you look different. But, you know... If you just think about the word filter, it means to remove something, right? Because when you filter anything, whether it be water, air, whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? The whole fact of the matter is you're removing something, right? So, you know, right there, I don't know if individuals would consider themselves to be in denial not saying you per se, but I'm saying any individual who resembles, you know, certain characteristics. I, I don't know if you would consider yourself to be in denial, you know, but right here, you know, you don't look like your pictures in my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? This is just my opinion, but you don't look like your photos, ma'am. You can't be, hey, listen, if you're an average person, you cannot be trying to apply, you know, First of all, a lot of y'all already wear makeup, right? So that's a send off in itself. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you take that makeup off, a lot of women look totally different. But then they go to the point where they put no makeup and then applying a filter. It's like, bro, you, you literally become a different person at that very moment. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all know them filters where you can remove weight off yourself or add weight, you know? Like, it's like, come on, bro. You have to be as real as you want if you want an authentic relationship, man. I'm not saying don't change. You can't change the tint and the color. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all be, you know, doing applying so many filters, right? You know, you look unrecognizable, and this is why this man probably, well, not even probably, this is why he would felt upset or had a problem with the whole date because you're not being. You know, th this is not authentic. This is not real. It doesn't resemble authenticity. You know, anybody that has, you know, uh, uh, actual intentions, because what you're doing is setting yourself up for failure by not being as real or as transparent as you possibly could be. Because right here, come on. Man. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. Listen, I don't want a lot of individuals to get confused when they hear the word Photoshop because people be, be thinking like you have to actually download Photoshop or you actually have to have, you know, uh, a computer to actually edit and modify. Listen, fam, modern day Photoshop is, you know, filters. 
That's what the fuck it is. So you cannot, I'm not saying you in particular, particular, excuse me, you in the video, but I am saying for the average person, modern day Photoshop are filters, fam. You're not going to say it's not. It is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video, the picture I put in. And he was like, you know, just being so quiet through the meal and all that he didn't even want to pay i said hey i didn't bring my money with me and then he eventually paid and then now he cashed he he sent me a request to pay for the food and that's not i just don't understand why are men like this ma'am 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 number one you know don't generalize and say why are men like this you feel what i'm saying because not every man is like that it's some people that's okay with you know specific things happening you feel me but right now what you doing is you, you you know this sound like you know a lot of hoopla as if you trying to play the role of a victim you feel what i'm saying when in actuality right come on now this was fraudulent this was not authentic quote unquote in my opinion you feel what i'm saying because right now you're talking about some why are men like why are look I, the, what if the man, you know, reversed it on a woman and said, why are women like this? Why do they have to wear so much makeup and weave? And, you know, why do they have to put all of these filters on? And, you know what I'm saying? What? Why? You, you feel me? So it goes both ways. You feel what I'm saying? You, you know, as an individual, people, the general public, you attract who you are. You feel what I'm saying? So if you're not authentic... What do you expect to attract in your life? You feel what I'm saying? You throwing all of these filters. You know what I'm saying? You saying one thing, but you looking like the other. You feel me? And if you lie in one uh, area, you're going to lie in another. You feel what I'm saying? If you put no heavy filters and, you know, blocking your face. So you hiding from yourself. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to hide other things in your life as well. It's just what it is. It's a slippery fucking slope. You got to understand that, fam. This psychology shit is real. You got to understand who you are. You feel me? Men are evil. Hey guys, I'm making a quick video before I go live. I want to thank everyone who's been so kind to me and who's been like saying that some empowering words. I'm telling you, there's some nice people out here. Not everyone is so rude and mean. Like, and the thing about I wanted to address before I go live is that everyone is telling me, which I find funny, everyone is telling me to just post my pictures that I have now. Why? Why not? You see what I'm saying? You get, listen, first of all, you're talking about, you're getting frustrated because people are requesting that you post the real you. Like, I'm not understanding that. You're talking about some, why should I post my photos now? Because this right here. I do look at my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. Because you guys are roasting me in the comment section. You guys said my back is as big as a California King mattress. Why would I post that? Why would I post that? I do look at my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should always be honest. You just said you don't you don't Photoshop, you tell her how it is, and then turned around and said, why would I post this picture of me? Come on, man. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, I really need you. I, this. Hey, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention to what you say on the internet. The reason why, the reason why I post the pictures, because I felt confident in those pictures. Why would I, why would I not post the best version of me? And sometimes we can think we posting the best versions of ourselves, but in actuality, we could be posting a lie. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you're not truthful, you feel what I'm saying? These type of things happen in your life where you fight and they try to justify why you posted specific photos and you know why. If it, it, listen, if you was being as real and transparent as you say you were, you know, to the general public, I don't believe that you would have to, you know, try to rebuttal why you putting, you know what I'm saying? Like this wouldn't, it would flow naturally. Right now you arguing with people in the comments and you don't even have to do that, ma'am. You don't. And I think I look beautiful when I went on that date. I don't think I'm catfishing because the one thing you guys felt to realize, I said I was a chubby 
black girl on my profile pictures. But that don't mean that people understood who you actually were. You see what I'm saying? Because you got people that's, you know, 40 pounds, 90 pounds, 150 pounds, 390 pounds. Then you got my 600 pound life. You know, you got different weight classes going on. You feel what I'm saying? So for you to say chubby, right? You don't know what the average person is thinking chubby may or may not be, right? Everybody got their own definition of what chubby may or may, because a lot of people think chubby is like, oh, okay, you got a little bit of extra pudge on you. You know, you thick, you feel what I'm saying? A lot of people don't believe. So you gotta be honest. Like I'm this way, I weigh this much. You feel what I'm saying? Like, not to say that you obese or whatever. Hey, whatever people say in the comments, that's them. But what I'm saying is this, fam. You don't undersell or, you know, don't really don't be out here overselling, you know, specific aspects of your life. But then, you know, being as vague as possible in your description. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you can't really say, oh, I'm, I'm this way and then show, you know, you know, yourself under 40 filters and then be like, well, I'm, I'm chubby. Like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Photos are subject to availability type shit. <laughs> so how was that catfishing when I was being totally transparent in my description? Please. Hey, guys.